Well, last week was Eating Disorder Awareness Week, and when we hope to open up and have more honest conversations about a condition impacting nearly 10% of the country, but eating disorders, they don't always fit in a neat category. So to help us understand the impacts of disordered eating, as well as ways we can help those struggling, we are joined by Ann Donnelly, Vice President of Medical Management at Priority Health. We're so happy to have you. And this is such an important conversation to have. You know, of course, last week was the Awareness Week, but we need to keep that conversation going. Um, so first of all, what are some signs and things we should be looking at within ourselves or maybe someone close to us that we might maybe need to have that conversation? Right, absolutely. It's really important to keep your eyes and ears open for what's going on in, with your family members who are, uh, ex could be experiencing this. Yeah. So things like uh, with, withdrawing from your normal friends and families, becoming mm -hmm. more quiet, a hyper focus on your body size, your body weight. Again, a hyper focus on foods, um, dieting, exercise, yeah. but there's no one size fits all. Sure. And that's the thing, right? So just being aware and then not being afraid to have the conversation and yeah. ask questions. It's so important. And there's so much in our culture right now that can trigger, you know, those feelings, social media, ads, TV, all of it can be really triggering. Um, and you were talking right before this, you know, obviously we know that the mental health is a huge factor in uh, disordered eating. But you know, that physical aspect, this really is harmful too. It is. We take in food yeah. as calories, right, to support our body functions. And so if you have disordered eating, you're not taking in often enough calories for your body to function in a, in a healthy way. Sure. So it affects your muscles. And one of the most important muscles in your body is your heart. Sure. So who would ever think that you could have a heart condition because of disordered eating, but you can. Yeah. The other part is too, your hormones. And particularly with females, you're not getting enough calories, you're not mm. supporting your hormonal functions, and so you're gonna miss periods, you're gonna have hair loss and dry skin. And guess what? 20% of your calories go to function, uh, support your brain function. Wow. So foggy thinking, maybe not the best judgments, then again, it just ties back into that whole disordered mental health state of yeah. making decisions and getting really focused, hyper-focused on the food. Yeah, and these those conditions can be, I'm sure, long-lasting too. So the yes. road to recovery is just as important as well. What is a good way to maybe start that conversation? Whether it is, maybe you're thinking to yourself, uh, some of these signs could be something that I'm gearing towards maybe having an eating disorder or just you, you're, you're noticing something in a loved one. How do you start that conversation? Yeah, I, I think I would have two things to start with. One is take a step back and don't react. Like don't go mm. and Google everything and sure. then just come at somebody. Yeah. Take a minute to think about, well, who is this person? What do I know about them? And what's the best approach? But the other thing is seek out mental health resources to have mm. a conversation about how do I have a conversation to help this person. Sure. Yeah, it's important to seek that professional help out. You guys are always a good resource. Uh, where can people go to um, if they think that this might be the conversation they need to have? Yeah, so if you're a Priority Health member, at the, on the back of your card, there is a number and it goes right to our mental health services. Okay. So we're available 24-7, 365. We can get you to the right uh, type of provider to get you the help you need. We have a digital tool called MyStrength. Okay. It's available for our Priority Health members, but through the month of June, anybody in Michigan can access it. Okay. So PriorityHealth.com, you can navigate right to MyStrength from there. It's huge, and like you were saying, you know, there's no one disorder that fits all. It can really be a wide range, so always 100%. good to have you guys to help us out. We appreciate it. Oh, appreciate the opportunity. Thank you.